You're watching CBS 11 News. Not just what happens, what matters. Welcome back, everyone. Tonight, we conclude our series on germ warfare by heading into the bathroom. As Matthew Simon shows us, one of the dirtiest places in your house is in your bathroom. And here's a hint. It's not the toilet. Your bathroom is, of course, the place you go to get clean, right? Turns out parts of your bathroom could actually make you more dirty, especially your bathtub. Our home health expert calls that one of the dirtiest places in your house. Keep that in mind as you think about what you're washing yourself with. Your loofah is going to hold all sorts of bacteria. All that, all that bacteria that you've wiped off of your body is in the loofah. That's happening every time you use it. By the way, loofahs are nearly impossible to clean. And your dead skin cells inside a loofah not only feed off the soap, they can produce mold. Sitting in a wet environment, every time you use your loofah, more and more germs are growing. You're usually washing them back onto your body. Our experts advice, use a clean new washcloth every day and when your shower ends. If you've got a, 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 you know, walls like this, after you're done your shower, you might want to get rid of things. You might want to get rid of the water, the soap scum from your, from your shower. You also um, want to keep your, after you're done your shower, you want to keep that shower curtain open and that'll allow your shower curtain to dry. If you don't, if you close your shower, if you keep it like this, mm -hmm. all that moisture stays in there. And after probably a couple weeks, you're going to see a whole bunch of funny stuff growing in here. That's because you're washing all the germs and other unmentionable nasty stuff off your body and into the bathtub. It functions much like your kitchen sink. That wet floor becomes another germ breeding ground, specifically for waterborne germs called Pseudomonas. Now, at first, they're harmless, but if you're not constantly cleaning, it can cause a number of nasty infections in your urinary tract, respiratory system, bones and joints, plus skin and stomach problems. So your tub needs a thorough cleaning once a week. But, but first of all, remember clean elbow grease. You want to get it clean. Um, you want to be careful uh, with, your, with your tubs and your, your toilets and things, um, not to over scrub them with harsh things so that you cause pitting. Which could be another germ breeding place. The same goes for wet towels. Hang those along with bath mats up. The drier a towel is, the more germs die. Replace those towels at least once a week. And everyone in your house should have a separate hand towel so you're not contaminating other people. Washing hands, this is an uh, important thing for all family members. The most important way to stay germ-free, old advice for mom, wash your hands. You need to do this for 20 seconds. That's the same as singing two full versions of the happy birthday song. If you don't, take a look at our black light test and the germs that can remain. But you must remember, we've got microbes everywhere. We live with microbes. They're okay. They're okay. We don't have to get rid of all of them. Pretty nasty. Well, here are some more tips. When you flush your toilet, make sure to keep the lid closed. Otherwise, listen to this. You're broadcasting germs into the air. And what about your toothbrush? Well, you want to keep that in your bathroom cabinet. If it's on your sink counter, it's literally exposed to all those floating germs. In the studio, Matthew Simon, CBS 11 News. I feel so dirty right now, but that was a very good series. Good work, Matthew.